Jared, great to have you back on the show. You're going back to space. How did this manifest? Who's paying for it? Yeah, uh, Morgan, thanks for having me back. So the collaboration with SpaceX uh, on the Polaris program really began just prior to the launch of Inspiration4. And then after we came back, we were able to sit down and talk about what are the important building blocks uh, in order to get to Starship, which will be the vehicle that'll take humans back to the moon and ultimately to Mars. Uh, once we had all those worked out and I felt really comfortable that it could make a really positive impact on the world, uh, as well as what we're looking to accomplish in, you know, in space, um, I signed up for it. And, uh, and I'm really thrilled to be partnered again with SpaceX and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital you know, as we move boldly forward. Yeah, and now you're contributing money to this process. So is SpaceX. Uh, what do you plan to accomplish in space? Yeah, I, I think we have a number of really ambitious objectives. Uh, so the idea with the Polaris program uh, is to undertake a series of missions that, again, will ultimately culminate in, in the first flight of Starship. So there's a lot to learn before we get to that point. This first mission, Polaris Dawn, is going to fly higher um, and deeper into space than we've gone since uh, the last lunar mission. It'll be the highest Earth orbit ever flown, which is going to inform a lot of important research on, on radiation exposure for long-duration spaceflight and things that are useful that we can take back here to Earth as well. We're going to do a spacewalk because if we can get to the moon and Mars, you're going to want to be able to get outside and, and get work done. And we're going to communicate over Starlink um, laser-based communication. Uh, which is very important. Um, and it has obviously real practical use here on Earth to connect disconnected communities all over the world. Yeah, you're, you're going to be doing this first mission with three crewmates, including two SpaceX employees. Can we say that this really marks the beginning of a SpaceX astronaut core and a tipping point in general in terms of private space flight? Oh, absolutely. I mean, first, you're, you're, you're basically talking about, you know, the first privately funded space program. Um, which I think is pretty cool. And on top of that, you have the first two SpaceX astronauts um, uh, in Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon, who are unbelievable engineers, very talented, and they're going to be incredibly important uh, to everything we look to accomplish with the missions. And they're the, the first two of what I'm sure will be many over the years ahead. I mean, it's pretty incredible. We had this conversation last year ahead of Inspiration4 as well, but how... How do you balance this with all of the training, with all gotta, the preparation gotta, versus uh, your day job at Shift 4? Yeah, well, I balanced it really well last year with Inspiration 4. Um, you know, I love Shift 4. This is what I've been doing since I started the company when I was 16. Um, this is my whole professional career. So we've got big ambitions this year. We're going global. Um, really excited about the opportunities ahead. I'm not taking my eye off the ball on that. But that, that said, I'm also really passionate about two other organizations that I've grown close to. One of them is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and the other is, is SpaceX. So, you know, thrilled to play a part in it, but uh, still a lot of important things to, you know, uh, focus on at Shift4. Yeah, and of course, as you're speaking, we're seeing shares of Shift4 continue to move higher. They're now up about 4.5%. I know one of the other things you've told me in the past is that your space flight work has actually increased awareness, even potentially business for Shift 4, too. Is that an expectation here? I mean, we're an integrated payments company. We power over $200 billion a year in payment volume, um, you know, a, a, a good portion of uh, transactions here in the United States, and we're bringing our capabilities all over the world. We're obviously growing because we're solving problems for our customers. I, I certainly didn't expect when we went into Inspiration4 that, you know, SpaceX or St. Jude would ultimately become customers. They have. Um, you know, that's kind of an unintended benefit from just the good work we're trying to, you know, do as part of these programs.